it seems as though I survived. Hi guys! Welcome to honestly a pretty interesting vlog. Something that I never really like planned for or thought was going to happen. But right now it is Thursday night and tomorrow morning I'm going to the doctor to get set up for a sleep study that I'm doing tomorrow night. So I just wanted to take you along, um, one, to document like for myself, but also in case anyone else like ever needs a sleep study just to provide some comfort and just kind of show you guys what it looks like. So let's go back like two months. I went and it was the beginning of the year, so I got my yearly physical done and everything was good. And she was like, do you have any concerns? And I was like, <laughs> Kind of. Um, I just sleep really poorly. I snore loud. Like, I have some intense snoring. I never sleep properly. I will spend like 12 hours in bed and I think I'm asleep for maybe three hours. Like, it is just awful. So, I am getting tested for sleep apnea amongst other things, but mainly sleep apnea. So, I got a call from the radiologist maybe and i had to take like an intake test while i was at my physical so she calls me and she's like hey i got your results we definitely need to get you in for a sleep study she's like girl the quicker the better she literally said can you come tomorrow morning and this was like two weeks ago and i was like no because i have to work but she she wanted <laughs> she wanted me in there um so that um is a little scary but it's also nice to just hear that someone is like caring and wants to get on top of everything tomorrow morning i'm going in she said it's like a 10 15 minute appointment so she is going to teach me how to hook up to everything and then she's gonna send me on my way and then i'm gonna hook myself up tomorrow night and just sleep like normal i think and then monday i'll return the machine and get results uh whenever i don't know how long it takes for someone to read the results but i'm a little nervous so i'm gonna take you along with me and i will show you my appointment tomorrow and then i will also show you um kind of the setup tomorrow night and how everything goes so see you in the morning good morning Time to get ready for the doctor. Good morning, YouTube. Right now it's 7.03. I've got a piece of peanut butter sourdough toast and a little coffee. I'm gonna get ready. My appointment is at 9.30. I'm the only person awake right now, so I'm being a little quiet, but the cats are being crazy. <laughs> A tornado flew around my room before you came Excuse the mess it made, it usually doesn't rain In Southern California, much like Arizona My eyes don't shed tears, but boy they pour When I'm thinking about you, you know, no. Obviously it is much later, it is almost midnight But now my day is done, I'm ready for bed So I'm going to show you how I'm setting up for this, uh little sleep study. Everything came in this little case that I got to take home and I open it up and there's instructions but while I was at the doctor's office um the respiratory therapist walked me through literally everything. She made sure I had no questions and obviously I had to like sign off on things so like she was making sure I was good. So I'm going to show you how I get um set up for this. First thing is I'm going to pull my hair back because I have to wrap something around my ears kind of like an oxygen line so this is what the first part looks like that goes around my chest so the first thing is she said that i need to be wearing a shirt it can't touch bare skin so i am going to set it here and kind of hold it by my chin so i can wrap it around myself and this piece comes around and she said it snaps in there and it kind of sits on my chest. And then this is attached, which this is just kind of dangling, which 
I'm a little scared about because I am a heavy sleeper. So that's mainly what I'm anxious about. And then I also have a little finger thing. <sighs> I feel like I don't have much personality in this video because I am anxious. That goes on my finger, which is attached to this. So this is the whole setup there. I have this blue piece. This just goes into my nose. This is why I put my hair up because that needs to wrap around my ears. And then this adjusts. My cat is outside of my door and he's crying because usually he sleeps with me and tonight he can't. And then this screws in here. And um, on top of here, <laughs> it's hard to see, there's three. Um, for a second on here there's three green lights so hang on I'm a little nervous I can't deal with like medical anxiety dude <laughs> there's buttons on here and they're all three supposed to light up at the same time and they're lighting up at different times and she said that you need to make sure that all of them light up at the same time so I'm undoing my finger I'm undoing this. I'll take a deep breath. Okay, everything's fine. So now, oh shit, that made me nervous. I don't know why. I think it's because I was fucking with it so much, honestly. I feel like I should do some just like right here, like right by it. Yeah, like that shit I don't think is coming off. I'm not a light sleeper, I'm a rough sleeper. I mean, hence the sleep study, like I struggle with sleep. So this is really nerve wracking, I cannot lie. If I do it like this, I can't bend my finger and I don't know if that's a good idea for me or not. I'm using every single piece of tape they provided me. Okay, it literally says I can check the status anytime. And it keeps saying everything is good and I'm just anxious that it's not good and my finger is sweating. So this is it. Um, sleep study vibes. I'm gonna lay here and read and hopefully calm down my freaking heart rate because she's intense right now. Eventually I will be very grateful for this experience. Right now I'm just feeling a little uneasy. So good night. We'll see you in the morning and report how I'm feeling. Good night. Good morning. It seems as though I survived. I really hated that. I got literally the worst sleep ever. But hopefully that means um, that in the future I can get the best sleep ever. The part that sucked the most is that I had to sleep on my side and I don't sleep well on my side. I don't really know how much sleep I got, if any really. Like I know I slept but I think I was up every hour. I said everything was good. At the end of the test there's like a way to check um, if it got good data or not and it said that Mine was 100% good, so that's exciting. Oh, it's 7 a.m. I work in three hours, but I just want to take a nap. <laughs>